Are you wondering about how great soul stories happen? Well, I'm here to tell you how they happen and how I can make it happen for you. So if you're listening to this in the Toronto, GTA, Ontario area, you're the one I'm speaking to right now. Everything you remember, everything you've learned, everything you were told prior to 2020 is out the window. And everything that you even knew before 20, before spring of 2022 also out the window. And I'm going to give you an actual story that will help you understand why the most important factor in your success when selling is something that no other agent is telling you about. But you'll have to listen to the end of the show, uh, up to the end of the show, to get the full story. And it won't be a long one. Uh, I like to make these stories quick, amusing, and hopefully memorable. So in one particular case, I was able to help some wonderful people sell a property. But this wasn't their first time on the market. So they actually had tried being on the market about two years ago. So they went through everything you could imagine when trying to sell their property. Anything that you can imagine that you'd have to do, they decided to do. That includes painting, getting a bunch of work done on the house, and then staging. Now, because they were not able to move out of the property, they had to live in the property while it was staged. And if you've ever done that, you may or may not understand how painful it is to live in a property with someone else's rented furniture and worried about, you know, one of your kids or your dog or somebody damaging a piece of furniture or breaking a chair or something. So during this time, it was very painful for them. And we just did not get the right traffic. We didn't really have the right buyer. The story wasn't really, the property and the buyer were not matched yet. So they went through this and they decided at that point, that's it for us. We're just going to stay here for a while longer. So now if I can fast forward with you to today, actually to this month, the same property went back on the market. And in this case, with a very different approach, a little bit earlier in the markets versus when they tried last time. But the good news is the results were incredible. They were able to do exactly what they wanted to do and get the results they wanted. And there was no additional work required. They didn't have to go through all the work again. They already had done the painting, so everything was good, good there. But they decided just to go ahead and rather than get staging done in the traditional sense, they just decided to buy nicer furniture and just have nicer furniture ready when it was time. And everything worked out brilliantly. So what it really boiled down to this time around, and I think this was the the case for, 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 for all, all parties involved is that the story of the property at this point was absolutely magical and attracted the perfect buyer. So my advice to you, those of you listening around Toronto, GTA, Ontario, anyone's listening, this is for you. If you're being, or if you're reading about that it might be the right time to sell in September, do not believe that. You want to be ahead. You want to be at least three weeks ahead of when others, maybe the media, maybe other agents you know, are telling you to wait until. Do not do that. Do not make that mistake. You you will possibly miss out on your dream buyer, your dream situation, and and your ideal closing in this year 
especially if interest rates are going up because that will affect a large amount of buyers. So the bottom line, and I'm glad you listened all the way to the end, the bottom line here is the difference this time around was the fact that the right timing and the right storytelling is what got it done. And I'm really, really happy for them, and I'm going to be just as happy for you. So please reach out to me at realestatepodcastshow.com or email paul.indrigo at c21.ca and let me make this happen for you just the same right now today.